Okay, we're back on the dripping wet here in Foss Harbor in beautiful Tacoma, Washington. We're on a Bayliner 4788 2001. Has the Cummins 6BTA 370s. Today we're going to be removing and doing the maintenance on both after coolers. This boat is new to us. Um, I don't know the maintenance uh, schedule. So far everything looks pretty good and clean. I just want to start fresh. Here's our after cooler. The top zinc. Um, over here you can see I already removed the transmission cooler. We're replacing those. You can check out our earlier video for transmission cooler or gear cooler uh, removal and install. This is the side of the after cooler. And if we go down here in the couple hoses down here to remove on either side and then uh, a lower zinc. I'm going to use this lower zinc fitting to drain the after cooler. The seawater, I'll just let drain into the bilge and pump it out. This is going to be a 22 millimeter box wrench that I use here. Um, be prepared for this to drain some water. Also, you can tell this pencil zinc is mostly gone. We'll be replacing those as well. New pencil zincs come with the rebuild kit that we purchased. So I'll remove these lower uh, hose clamps. The 15th, 16th socket, your hose clamps may be a different size. Seeing that hose, that corrosion I was talking about coming. That hose looks pretty bad. All right, we got the lower hoses off. We'll come up to the top of the engine here. I'm fortunate we have a center cutout into the engine compartment and bilge. Makes it very handy. Our hatch covers have been cut in half. You may not have this center brace and you may not have the center hatch cut out. May make your uh, removal uh, more challenging. All right, we'll remove this uh, hose clamps on the top of the engine. Go into the top of the after cooler. I have a couple wires here that go into the after cooler. I have them marked with this green tape here, um, and then I'm also going to tape off the connections once I remove them. It's going to be a 10 millimeter nut.
also have a sensor to disconnect here. Easy plug for removal. We'll remove the ground. It's painted on pretty good, so it'll, you'll have to remove some of that paint. Ground is removed. Two bolts down here are the lower uh, mount. We're going to keep the mount, con the bracket connected to the after cooler and remove the bracket from the engine itself. Now that the lower bracket is removed, we'll move up top and do the top. All right, there's two bolts up here. You can only see one in the camera. It looks like there's a, it's the mount to hold the transmission cooler, as well as a mount to hoist the engine out. So there's three brackets we're removing here. This is the mount for the transmission cooler. There's a reset in it, so don't tear that wire out. Keep that off to the side. And now our um, after cooler is ready to come off. Just have to twist this one hose off. And here comes our after cooler. Got it up out of the off the engine. We'll... All right, I'm over here on the port side engine. Going to remove this after cooler. Uh, space is a little tighter over here. I've jammed in between our hydronic furnace and the filters for our water maker. So this is going to be more challenging. I'm going to start here with these electrical connections. I marked them again. Same as last time, I'm going to remove them, tape them up, and uh, put them out of the way. are removed and taped up and at the same time while I'm in here remove that sensor get those out of the way now I'm gonna start loosening up hoses you can see the fuel cooler here 
these hoses are just in as bad a shape as the other side. It's going to be a little more difficult to get off. Limited space over here. bolts from the lower mount here. those bolts came out nice and easy I was unable to get the fuel cooler raw water line off here as you can see I got the clamps off it's still connected but I think it'll come right off uh, I'll be able to pull the after cooler right off once I get it disconnected up top we're up top now to remove these um, two bolts, and I think this after cool will come right out. should be completely free minus a hose up top and a hose below. Alright, so I got uh, the port and starboard after coolers out. Um, there's the port. Here's the starboard. Everything went real well. Um, check out part two for the disassembly and rebuild of the after coolers, and then I'll. Uh, do a third video of putting these back in after they're uh, cleaned and pressure tested. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. I'll, I'll try to answer them for you.